Oh, good morning, everybody. Hope you're all well. First time uh, been able to get out and uh, do a bit of an update. So, uh, yeah, first week of uh, April nearly gone. It's Saturday, the sixth of April today, and I'm just out on uh, on the pocket rocket, just uh, adding some more running miles. I'm just mooching. I've come out today with no particular place to go, so I'm sort of in the... Uh, oh, look at that. Um, Stratford-on-Avon, Warwickshire, Worcestershire, East Worcestershire area. been mooching around. It's a couple of hours now. And I'm uh, winding my way home. Well, it's winding my way generally wherever I fancy going really um, to these lovely villages things and uh, yeah it's heading sort of generally towards home now so uh, a few things to chat about today first one um, and most important one is a, a proper thank you for uh, helping me get to a, a thousand subscribers it's happened about a month and a bit ago now probably up towards the uh, the end of February and uh, as of today we're approaching 1100 unbelievable so it's a it's a, a big thank you if you have uh, subscribed to the channel, I really do appreciate it. And uh, it's growing, uh, growing steadily at the moment. It's great. So, uh, yeah, I can't thank you all enough. Onwards and upwards. Um, yeah. And then uh, just for updates on what's happening. I haven't been able to, I haven't been out that much. Been doing a lot of family stuff, um, and uh, I've been spending some time over in Wales as well. The weather's been atrocious. I think that's uh, we're all experiencing that. Oh, this is nice. Uh, the weather's just been uh, grim, and uh, fortunately today's dry. So make the most of it while we can, eh? Stay to these roads. Um, yeah, so uh, not had the weather. Uh, this afternoon, four o'clock, what time is it now? It's 20 to 12 now. Four o'clock this afternoon, taking the CCM for MOT. So, fingers crossed for a successful. MOT and a pass. Uh, hopefully, I uh, can't think of anything wrong with it. I checked it over, it all seems okay. But you always have that little bit of a doubt in your mind, don't you? So, uh, hoping for that. Um, what else has been going on? Uh, yeah, that's just so much. So, all bikes are serviced now. Uh, that needs servicing. Scram was done, this was done uh, earlier in the year and uh, Triumph's done and yeah so the uh, just today I've just been, I've been itching to get out so today is just a really is just a mooching ride out I've come on my own, just makes it a bit easier when I've not got any place in mind. Uh, just to freestyle really. Uh, the last time I've been out on on Pocket Rocket was uh, back in January. And we went up to the Raven Cafe and then came back via the Reekin. Uh, so I've been out on it since. I love these. Uh, look at this. Isn't it lovely. This is X Hall. 
just lovely. Yeah, I'd love to live in a place like this. So yeah, Easter's gone, been and gone. Um, so I've been family over at the caravan in, over in Wales and we, uh, we had Easter over there. Didn't take the bike, I was planning to take uh, the scram over at Easter but the weather just... I wasn't going to get wet for the sake of getting wet, I could, I'm, so I'm lucky to take it probably uh, three weeks time now because we're going to Iceland next week for a sort of long weekend, blue weekend from Thursday to Monday with Kevin L and Paul and Tracy and another couple who we haven't met yet so and Sam and me as well and we're off to Reykjavik on Thursday early hours of Thursday morning um, we'll be setting off that's nice I'm looking forward to that Sam wants to see the Northern Lights well we all want to see the Northern Lights if we can don't we so uh, and then the following week I'll be back at the caravan so the weekend after that will probably be a, uh, another ride out weekend where is all this water? I don't know where it's coming from it's settling on the fields and then it's looking for somewhere to drain to but I don't know where to go really it's, oh excuse me that's it oh, that stream there what we got here oh the grafter temple grafter oh, yeah. I don't care I'm just going just following me nose. Where's this now? Where's this going? Who cares? Let's just go. Three horseshoes. Um, yeah, so... Uh, and I think by then, I would imagine, because we'll be well into, well into April then, the evening ride-outs are going to start soon with Paul. Uh, I'm looking forward to that. Uh, yeah, it's been a slow start for me this year. I'm usually up and running a lot earlier, and it's just lots of stuff going on. Um, bit of a disaster uh, with uh, making videos in the. Um, the hard drive where I was storing my videos, portable external hard drive. But I've got the Scotland uh, tour videos on from last July. I was trying to upload the last video in the series and the damn thing crashed. So I stopped uploading. And I haven't been able to get back onto it. Um, so I'm I managed to salvage, I think they were shadow files that were on the uh, on the laptop hard drive so I was able to remake as best I could the last video, the one that I couldn't upload because it just stopped and then I couldn't get at it again onto the drive so I managed to remake that from, I think they were shadow files but uh, the rest are still stuck um, I've got a, a great IT guy working on them at the moment um, but it's taking forever to try and recover them so I really hope he can because there's the last few uh, probably another couple of three videos of the Scotland tour and there's some unbelievably beautiful places in Sky that we caught on the afternoon of that last day that I can't get at I'm going to keep double backups from now on I can't be doing this it's, uh, it's so frustrating and it's and you just think all oh, that, you know, I know what's on there and uh, I sort of know what I've lost, so heartbreaking really. But uh, we'll, oh, it's not lot yes, all oh, not lost yet. I'm just waiting to see if Vlad, uh, Dr. IT, can recover those, uh, those files. And if he can, we'll get the last. Uh, last of the Scotland tour videos and that will be brilliant that would be brilliant uh, where are we? Bidford um, 
This is just a general chat really, there's no particular order or sequence to what I'm talking about, it's just what's coming to my mind. So if I'm jumping around and scattergunning, sorry. Um, it's just a, just a, a vlog really, just to update where we are with everything. Uh, what else is going on? Yeah, so uh, yeah, Norfolk tour is coming up, and uh, unfortunately, uh, Joe's not in the best of physical health for doing, you know, the sort of riding hours that we do, distances. Uh, I get it. So Joe's sadly had to drop out, but it looks like Paul uh, with the Honda 404. He's going to be able to fill Joe's place. I haven't got a cancel, which is great. And uh, although we'll miss Joe, it'll be nice having Paul along. So that'll be nice. That'll be good. And I'm sure we'll have an endless supply of jokes that uh, we can keep uh, you all amused with. Including you, Aussie biker dude. Uh, yeah, it's been a it's been a real slow start this year. It's, uh, just the weather's not played nicely at all. I don't recall it being it raining quite as much as it has this year. Just seem to have been a non-stop. Cleave Prior. Nice. Yeah, I just love these back roads. So in terms of uh, the scram and getting it ready to go to uh, over to Wales, it's all ready. It was ready a week ago, to be fair. Got his, his cover, heavy duty cover, all that stuff. That's how I keep the salty sea air off him. So he's all ready to go. And, uh, still playing with the sound. And hopefully this sound is, uh, is sorted on this... Uh, This microphone now and this helmet set up was a little bit uh, very Worcestershire, a little bit peaky previously. So I've repositioned the mic, hopefully, I've lowered the volume of the mic a little bit. And, uh, just trying it out and see how it works. This helmet has got the uh, DJI lavalier microphone installed in it now. I had to set up another helmet. Which I even set up. Ah, oh yeah. This is lovely, Billy. Look at this. Beautiful. Absolutely lovely. these sorts of places. Beautiful. If you live here, you're a lucky person. What was it saying? I lost track of what I was saying. Ah, yeah. So, uh, I've, uh, and trying to just get this dead right in this helmet. Uh, this is the helmet where I'll capture most of the uh, what's my main helmet really. This is where I capture our chats when we ride when we do our group rides out. Um, and I've set up the 
purple panda back up in my old bike uh, helmet, which I'm taking to Wales, and we'll live in Wales for the summer. Well, we'll live in Wales permanent. No, we'll live there for the summer, we'll come back when the bike comes back. Um, so that's all set up in there. I'm just, just trying to, ref I'm just refining the volumes now, I'm putting an inline microphone into both. Um, just to try and fine tune the levels. I'm hoping that this is, uh, this is sorted now. But I'm not going to find out until we play it back, so let's wait and see. So yeah, I'm sort of meandering my way in the general direction of home now. Done 81 more so far today. And then, uh, all adding up towards getting this bike running ready for Norfolk. Which is, uh, when we take in uh, Rocket Rocket to Norfolk. I've really started to have to enjoy this, these freestyling rides, you know. Just going out on my own and with no particular place to go and then just noodling around. It's uh, quite a really relaxing. I was thinking to myself earlier when I uh, Out right on this bike, so it just seems to get better and better every time I ride it. It's just a joy to ride this bike, you know. I keep saying it wouldn't pull the screen off a rice pudding, really, you know, but that's not what it's about. It's just, it's just so relaxing. The bike can really just take it easy, go with the flow with it, often them. It's uh, it is, it's uh, it's just so much joy and pleasure out of riding it. I, was, I get I the same with all my bikes, but just I don't know, There's something about this one. I think it's because the roads I seek out to ride it, like these sorts of roads. I think it's just perfectly suited for them. You know, it's, it's, deli it's got the right amount of power for roads like this. You're not having to hold it back or anything like that. You know. It's, it's just, yeah. Outlay, Riverside Country Pub. Isn't this just lovely? Quaint. Just flipping lovely. Roofs. Is that a maypole? I think it is, you know. It's a maypole with a weather vane on the roof. We're down a dead end here. Yeah. We're down a dead end. Isn't this just lovely? Look at that. That's a dead end. What a lovely place. Oh, 
Radiosen. Absolut i Radiosen. They're like little time capsules, aren't they, these villages? Really lovely. Love that maypole. Spectacular. Lovely country lanes and roads. Wonderful. Look at that roof. I'll say on the top of there, cat. Fantastic. Works of art, aren't they, those roofs? Absolute works of art. Wow, how's that? It's been stunning. Can't believe we chanced upon that. So much to discover in there if you just go and have a little mooch around. Really down late. Off and a ferry. Oh, that's not looking good. Not with that hedge. Thatch roof house. What a dragon on the roof for that one. What's this? What's this I found here? That's a pull. Trying to, trying to keep it hopping around 50. And it's just itching to go. I think the, uh, the end can and the uh, DNA filter definitely uh, improved the performance to some degree. That's not even running yet. What we're looking at, how many miles are we on at the moment? 671, 674. Well, I don't know whether you watch the All Year Motorcyclist channel, hey, if you don't, then you should. I'll, I'll leave a link. Uh, please go and have a look if you... I'm sure many of you are, but if you're not, by any chance not, go and have a look. You won't, uh, you won't be disappointed. Uh, and on one of these mutters, and there's weekly mutters, on a Monday and a Friday, and uh, people send him photographs and... Uh, show the photographs and he'll mention channels and somebody sent him a picture of a Dodge Charger which was the car from the uh, 70s uh, TV program the Dukes of Hazard. Uh, people of my vintage in their 50s or late 50s will remember it well and I'm sure some, some younger folks may have seen it it's sort of uh, yeah 
brilliant uh, brilliant programs they were the Dukes of Hazard uh, the two brothers and the sister Daisy Duke and as a teenage lad uh, Daisy Duke was uh, yeah uh, a lot of us was our, our fantasy but there you go but that's a that's another story um, and the car was sort of an uh, iconic car, this Dodge Charger, the General Lee it was called. Again, most of you probably know about it. But somebody sent a photograph in and uh, I was watching the video and I sort of got to thinking about those like, iconic cars that were in the programmes of the 70s. And there was the Dodge Charger, the Dukes of Hazard. There was another one, I thought it was a Mustang, I don't know what it was. Um, Ford Mustang, but it was in the, uh, uh, the car from Starsky and Hutch and it was a red car with sort of a white a sort of arrow stripe down the side of it if you google it you'll find it if you don't know about them and it just got me to thinking about iconic uh, iconic cars from TV programmes and I thought well what iconic cars do we have in our in our British TV programmes and the two that stuck out for me programmes that I used to watch was uh, the Sweeney, which was starred John Thor and Dennis Waterman, Regan and Carter, um, and the car, the iconic car, the Sweeney, was a sort of a bronze-coloured, uh, bronze-coloured Ford Granada, and. Uh, that was sort of played a big role in the series. And uh, a company box shaped, you had four Cortinas, and then the sort of the top of the range for the Ford saloon cars at the time was the Ford Granada. So there was the Ford Granada in the Sweeney. And another programme, another favourite of mine from the era, was the uh, the professionals, uh, Bodie and Doyle. And that starred Lewis Collins as Bodie. And Martin Shaw, a brummy chap, uh, as Doyle. Now I'm I'm not quite sure about Doyle, but I know that Bodie drove a Ford Capri, um, and I'm pretty sure that Bodie, no sorry, Doyle, had a Ford Escort, and I think it might have been Mark II. I think it was an XR3. I'm not sure. If you do know what they were, please drop a comment below. It would be great to know for certain. Um, but I'm, yeah, Bodie had the Capri and uh, Doyle had the Escort. And they were great programmes. Um, I think, if I remember rightly, and they may have moved the noise around, I'm not sure. I think that the Sweeney was on on a Monday night. And I had to persuade my mum at the time to let me stay up and, uh, and watch the Sweeney. Because I got school next day. And it was 9 o'clock. 9 until 10 o'clock on ITV. As I recall, I think Bodie Doyle came a bit later. Festivals came a bit later, only slightly later. And, uh, and I think they were on a Sunday night between 9 and 10 o'clock. Not absolutely certain, but rings a bell. So they were iconic uh, programmes during the uh, late 70s and the cars that went with them. And uh, sometimes in the Sweeney, and I think this is why my mum was not so keen to let me stay up and watch it. Sometimes in the Sweeney, uh, you might have seen a topless lady. And as a red blooded teenage lad, it, uh, yeah, I'll leave the rest to. Yeah, happy days, happy memories.
So uh, yeah, the iconic cars from uh, TV shows. Other ones would have been the uh, the Saint. The Saint when it was uh, Roger Moore. I think he had a white. Not sure if it was. Uh, not sure if it was a. Uh, that's to go back and have a look. E type. And then when Roger Moore was replaced by. Ian Ogilvy was the saint. I think he had a Jaguar XR6 or XRS, something like that. Yeah, there you go. And what I'd have to have a think about now is what iconic motorcycles were in TV shows of the uh, of the era. Now I know there was Boone, which was Michael Elphick and uh, the little chap who's, uh, I can name, I can, Neil Morrissey, that's him, Neil Morrissey, and so it was Boone and Neil Morrissey, I think there was minor bikes in that. So a bit of research for me, or anybody of you know, if you, again, drop it in the comments below, a bit of research for me is what were the bikes out of being Boone? Michael Elphick and uh, Neil Morrissey. It was a great era for uh, TV programmes, that was. And, uh, yeah, so home for me now. Swap over, get the CCM out, get it off and get it MOT. Fingers crossed, it's a positive. And then, uh, as I say, I'm on waffling now. So, so, as always, thank you for supporting the channel the way you all do. By commenting, liking, uh, subscription, subscribing is always welcome. Really appreciated. Uh, try to, there's a few guys, uh, names escape me, just, re just reminding me, who, who'd like to come out and have a ride with us. Um, I haven't forgotten you, and I'm not ignoring you. Uh, I will, once I get, things start to flow a little bit more, we'll, uh, we'll be in touch, as I've got your contact details. Uh, I can't think of your names, and I apologise, if I can, I'll drop them on the screen, but, uh, when I put the video together. But I haven't forgotten you. I do want to come out now, and you have a ride with us. Uh, so I say, making, it's getting it to work properly for all of us at the moment, so I will be in touch and it'll be great to, to have you out with us. Um, so yeah, on that note, thanks to everyone. Take care of yourselves. Let's think, keep our fingers crossed that the weather is going to be uh, better. And uh, I'll probably chat to you again very shortly on the... CCM going for its MOT. In the meantime, look after yourselves and uh, to ride a bit.